What is up guys? Since we know that switches in Android are very unesthetic and ugly, in this video I'll show you how you can customize switches and make them look beautiful. We will create two switches, one with text and the other one with images. So switches have two parts in them. The first one is called thumb and the second one is called track. This slider is the one which is called thumb and the green one is called track. So in order to make these switches look beautiful, we just need to customize the track and the thumb of the switch. So let's do it. Right click on the drawable folder and create a new vector asset. Click on this button and search for volume. The first one will be volume up and click on the color button and change the color to 008577. Click on next and finish. Right click again on the drawable folder and create one more asset. Click on this button and choose this volume of asset and color will be same. Click on finish. Now add a switch compact in the layout file. Set width and height to wrap content. Center in parent will be true. Text on will be on and text off will be off. Show text will be set to true. Now let's customize the thumb of this switch. Thumb will be at drawable slash thumb1. Press Alt Enter and create this drawable resource file. Make sure the root element of this uh, drawable file is set to selector and add an item and state checked will be false. Now we'll create a shape and the thumb of the switch will adapt to this shape when the switch is not checked. Shape type will be oval, add solid to it and color will be white. Now let's set the size, width will be 48 dp, height will be 48 dp. Now add a stroke to this shape, width will be 1 dp, color will be sharp 8e, 8e, 8e. Now copy this item and paste it here and change the state to true and change the stroke color to 34C759. The thumb of the switch will adapt to this shape when the switch is checked. Now go back to activity main.xml file and let's customize the track. It will be add drawable slash track. Press Alt Enter and create this file. And in the same way, the track will change with the switch's state. Add an item, state checked will be false. And let's create the shape for our track. Shape will be rectangle. Solid color will be white. Corners radius will be set to 100 dp. Now let's add a stroke to this shape. Color will be sharp 8e, 8e, 8e. And width will be 1 dp. Now copy this item and paste it below it. Change the state checked to true. Change the color to 34C759 and remove the stroke. By the way, we are not bothered about the size of the track. Depending on the size of the thumb, size of the track will be set automatically by Android. Let's see what have you got until now. Run it. Try sliding the thumb. And this looks beautiful. Now let's create the second switch. Go back to activity main.xml file. Now give this switch an ID. Call this switch button and add one more switch compact, set width and height to wrap content. This will be below our first switch. Center horizontal will be set to true and set margin to 8 dp. The track of both the switches will be same, so we can reuse the track that we created. Now let's create the thumb for this switch. It will be called thumb2. Press Alt Enter and create this file. Now using the previous method of creating thumbs, you can only get one shape. But what if you want to overlay an image on top of that shape? Well, for that, you cannot use the previous method. So let's see how we can add image on top of the shape. Add an item, set state checked to false and add a drawable to this item. We will call this drawable thumb false and add one more item, set state checked to true and add a drawable to this item. And we will call this drawable thumb true. When the switch is not checked, then the thumb of the switch will adapt to this item drawable that we are going to create. Press Alt Enter and create this file. 
and change the root element to layer list. This way we can layer image on top of our shape. So add an item, add a shape to this item. Shape will be oval. Go to the thumb one file and copy the attributes of this shape and paste it in here. Now add one more item and this item will have a drawable and that drawable will be volume off. And this drawable will be 12 dp from left. It will be 12 dp from right and it will be 12 dp from top and 12 dp from bottom. And in the same way, we'll create our second thumb. Now go back to thumb to file and create this thumb true file. Go to this file thumb false and copy the content of this file and paste it in this file. Change the stroke color of this shape to 34C759 and change the drawable for the second item to volume up. And now we can run and test this. Try sliding the sliders. And there you have some beautiful switches. 